Hey everybody, Stitch1993 here again with another toy review. This time, uh, for this month of the month of November, we'll be looking at Toy Story Toys, which is not only my favorite movie of all time, but is also the main uh, reason I got into toy collecting to begin with. And after this review, I'll actually kind of give you a little bit of a tour of the uh, current Toy Story items I have on display here in my office. Uh, but today we're going to be uh, re looking at a toy that you can't find in, in your regular stores, not when the first movie came out and never since then. This is uh, strictly a, a fan-made toy. Uh, this one I got uh, as a seller, creator seller, from a local uh, Toy Story fan group on Facebook. He makes these as well as the uh, clown from the first Toy Story as well, the one that kind of moved back and forth. Uh, of course, these are the rushing, Russian nesting dolls from Toy Story. Uh, they were prominently featured in Toy Story 1 and had a bit of a recurrence in Toy Story 2, mainly just a background character. And there's not much really to review if you know what a rushing nesting doll is. It is uh, normally made of wood and it is just this little figurine that can open up and there's little ones inside and each one can open up and have a smaller one inside of it. This one of course has five. I've seen ones that have uh, anywhere from uh, 10 to almost 20 layers. Uh, the, the bigger the figurine is, the more layers it is able to have. But I did want to kind of go over and show just um, how well this these uh designs are and kind of how well crafted because you know you see a lot of toy views they're from toys you see, get off the shelf either currently or in the past but this one's a unique toy here and is uh you can tell had a lot of passion go into it uh so of course they didn't have a name this uh toy does not have a name as far as i know it's just the rushing nesting doll toys uh and they probably might go even go by their names, which is dog, cat, duck, fish, bug, or ladybug. Uh, so we're going to look at uh, the going from smallest to largest, and at the end show how it is all in the one piece. So of course the ladybug being the smallest one, I cannot open up, but just look at this design here. Um, it looks like it was hand painted for the most part here uh, the face looks like it may have been some sort of uh, maybe a decal it does have a little bit of edge to it that might have been uh, glued on and then the whole uh, figure is then just made finished off with this nice wooden gloss here and the bright the, the colors are really nice uh, brightness to them uh, the next one is the goldfish and this is one of the first ones we are able to actually open up and take a look inside. Now, I'm not sure if this person hand carved these uh, wooden uh, 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 cups or if this was uh, pre-made and then he was he or she would just paint it over them. I uh, haven't seen any Russian nesting dolls in like craft stores in this shape. They normally come in. What you'll see is kind of the pe what I like to call the peanut shape, the, the doll shape to it here. Um, but again, if this is, uh, even if it isn't, this is just really nice, smooth craftsmanship. Uh, no splinters whatsoever in here. And then going back to the figurine, it closes right at the mouth there. And if you get it lined up perfectly straight... Uh, you can barely even see that there's a seam other than especially right here. Again, the whole, especially with the scales, you can definitely tell it's hand painted there. But I think the wings uh, as well as the eyes are again little decals that probably were either just kind of put on there after original paint was and just kind of stuck. Or they were glued on to there. Either way, it's uh, oops, really nice and as you can see very sturdy as well 
Uh, these are not going to break. Of course, I wouldn't recommend these for a actual child. Uh, this is definitely more of a collector's item. This, uh, I do believe, was $150 uh, for this set. And then I think the, uh, the clown was another $150. I did not buy that. But I did always want to have these guys in my collection. Ever since the first movie, I thought these guys were the coolest. And it's a shame that uh, neither Hasbro nor N Mattel or Disney themselves have ever made an official licensed version of this toy here. Uh, going on next is the duck. And this one is, of course, a bit larger. That way he is able to not only fit in the fish, but the lead bug as well. And again, we're going to open him up and look how well the inside is here and again very smoothly painted you can barely even tell there's a seam right there when uh, looking from it uh, even close up or even f especially from afar and this one is simplistic in design uh, again, just like the character in the movies but uh, I think this one is my favorite just of the the face it's just kind of almost derpy looking surprised face on there and he's uh the only one that has the majority of his body being green which of course is my favorite color uh, next we have the cat nice shades of blue and this one looks like it has the most use of decals on it again uh this mouth is definitely uh either that or it's really steady handwork there and I do apologize if I'm offending the original creator by saying these are decals if they are in fact not but they do look like decals they have a little little, little edge to them there I'm not sure how well you can see that but it's definitely not mesh with a lot like how the rest of the paint is uh, the eyes as well also bump out a li little bit um, as well as the ears do but everything else is all hand painted um, looks like there is some uh, additional little uh, stickers on the bottom. I'm not going to remove them because that may just uh, show off the blank wooden that's underneath the paint there. As you can see it has little little tiny feet. just love that. Um, no tail but I don't think the uh, original character had a painted tail either uh, from all the uh, different views you could see of the character. Uh, de definitely just really nice. And of course the main attraction which is the one everybody really knows which is the dog. And for the longest time I didn't know that any of these were actually animals uh, because you saw them for so little bit of time in the actual sh film. I just thought they were just creatures or um, maybe based off a show or something. But no they're all animals so this is a uh, dog more specifically looks like he's a bulldog. Uh, this one that has is the most egg shaped like. Uh, as you can see, he's really big. He uh, he is bigger than my, my palm in regards to that. I've got a pretty big palm here. And we actually can uh, show that the uh, figurine, the tallest one, stands at just right at the four inch mark right there. So uh, four inches tall. And again, uh, definitely use of decals are really really fine painting techniques with the, n the nose the eyes and the ears um, no tail as well but definitely nice little uh, leash on the bottom there is this tag right here of uh, 159352 and uh, not sure if that is in reference to how many he's made or just the specific model number uh, underneath that it looks like there's uh, it looks like the the company that made the wooden uh, eggs so that may answer the question as to if these were hand carved or not either way definitely really nicely painted job and inside again very smooth um, might have been even been after purchasing before painting probably have been sanded down quite a bit as well all right now I'm going to show them all going into each other. So of course we got the cat, the duck, 
and the fish. And then lastly the bug. The ladybug. And we're gonna put on a top of the fish. The top of the duck. The top of the cat. And finally the top of the dock. So there you have it. That is the Toy Story, I want to say just Toy Story 1 and 2. I don't remember him being in Toy Story 3 or 4 for that matter. Uh, but the Toy Story Rushy Nesting Doll animal set here. Uh, let me know what you your thoughts are. Um, I'll, I, sorry, I don't have the, the link anymore where you can purchase that. I would just suggest either going on Etsy or eBay and looking up Toy Story Rushy Nesting Doll. And there's uh, quite a few people that make just as well of a design of this character and this toy here. Uh, let me know what your favorite Toy Story character was. Let me know if they did or did not make a, a toy based off of a character that you like. I know in some of the movies there are toys based off of already existing toys and then there were toys based off just um, you know just for the movie like for example Buzz and Woody um, so let me know in the comments section all that as well as uh, what Toy Story toys did you grow up with and which ones do you hope to see in this review or future in, in this month's review or in future reviews because I will of course circle back to Toy Story quite a lot um, in the the next following months and years uh, for toy reviews because I do have as you'll see here in a little bit do have quite an extensive collection I feel like uh, but yeah, comment like and subscribe for future videos thank you and have a good day bye bye all right so as I said previously I was going to show off my current Toy Story collection uh, now this is just the stuff I am able to display and I'm sorry if it looks a little bit uh, cluttered uh, but it's all the space I have to show off uh, right now and some of the stuff some of the really nice bigger uh, items are still in storage here so uh, first is this little uh, chest of drawers I have a good bit of stuff on uh, just some uh, featured stuff I, I want to point out is of course the uh, lithogram from the uh, 2000 lithogram edition I do believe that you could just have purchased this from the Disney store and also may have been um, like a uh, extra thing you could get a pre-ordering Toy Story 2. Uh, also have little uh, RC Hot Wheels. I'm still looking out for the Pizza Planet one, so I don't have that. I've got a uh, Play-Doh set here that has Buzz and some other characters used for Play-Doh. Uh, two Forkies. I have the most recent one, which is the Holiday Forky. And then I have uh, this Forky, which was the original one, and is very interesting because uh, this one is it's going to be hard to find in later years because uh, soon after this one got released in stores, the eyes, the googly eyes you see here, started falling off and became choking hazards for little kids. So they actually recalled this toy and re-released it, same body design, but then had uh, the eyes like this. So this is kind of going to be a rare item in the coming years and I was glad I was able to pick it up when I did. Um, underneath I have a Buzz Lightyear beach towel that I've had for oh, I want to say maybe 10 or so years now. It's definitely had some uh, wear on it. It's not as vibrant colors as it used to be. Oh and then there's a little forky Hot Wheels as well. Uh, I have, you may be wondering how they're kind of floating. There is more stuff behind underneath these two. Um, oh, this is the alien hat I had when going to Disney World. That was fun. Uh, the largest figurines in my set collection is this bullseye and this woody. Uh, ooh, uh, this will be a toy for future review as well as a toy that's behind there. Um, going over, we're going to see the uh, main attraction, this bookshelf here. Um, here's some of the, I think I have almost 40 potato heads. 
um, and you probably can tell some of them I've done in past reviews and I'll, I'll circle back around if you guys in the comments if you see a potato head that you want to know more about comment in and I'll do a review on it um, so going from this is the very top shelf going to the first shelf we have uh, this uh, Buzz Lightyear that I do not know the name of it off the top of my head but he does not have any pop out wings he actually just has this little backpack you kind of can hardly see backpack with a projectile in it uh, we have again a uh, name is drawn a blank because he was only in Toy Story 3 but we have the bug from Toy Story 3 he is fully posable if you press this little button here his wings will pop out uh, in the movie he had kind of this little staff that the toy did not officially come with so if you go on Etsy you can uh, look up uh, and the people have made the staff for him uh, of course on the right we've got Zerg uh, remove the battery so he doesn't work but if you press this button uh, his eyes and his mouth will light up not like in the movie but kind of close to it and do some catchphrases um, unfortunately this does not spit out any little uh, projectiles it is just fake and even this dial you cannot turn it uh, I do like that the little dial does go up to 11 though uh, we've got some ducky and bunny figures here as well as uh, some tin toy I was so glad with Toy Story 4 that the tin toy finally got recognition he deserved being basically almost the max mascot for Pixar along with Luxor um, so we've got a couple figurines there going down to the second one this one uh, again a lot of these items I will be reviewing in future ones but this one is other than my Bo Peep section uh, just has a lot of the more miscellaneous and weirder items that came out in Toy Story line including uh, again some stuff that I'll get to later on this month here but uh, like Valentine's Day tins and little uh, lunch boxes. Uh, there's a boxed slinky dog back there and uh, some bubble scent scented stuff as well as this uh, Amazon exclusive and Forky and uh, oops, uh, I want to say Knifey but that's not her name. Her, she actually has an official name. Uh, but, uh, Forky and uh, Knife. Pearings. Uh, and of course uh, you'll start seeing some little pop vinyls show up here every now and then I do have a good bit of those going to the next shelf is the uh, Woody Woody's Roundup section uh, I will be reviewing this in a future review so I'll just kind of leave it there but there here it is uh, and I'll also be reviewing this as well as uh, a good bit of the toys on this shelf will be reviewed but I do have a Woody doll as well as a Jesse and some other uh, different various sizes of Woody's, Bullseyes, and Jesse's here. On down to the next, next section. I do apologize for the lighting. Uh, it's starting to get dark outside as well as uh, these shelves don't have the best lighting. But they, are, they do go back quite a ways. Uh, so we have a lot of Buzz Lightyear stuff. And again, I will be going over uh, a good bit what's in this shelf in, in future reviews as you can see there's another Buzz Lightyear this one he has this little laser cannon which I just think is the coolest thing and then we've got a uh, you can see a spaceship back there um, as well as the little uh, Pixar remix aliens that are start, starting to get I don't know I like them at first but now they're just making a whole bunch of them and I feel like it's going the way of the, the minions I hope not but I, I've liked the first couple waves and then uh, finally uh, the bottom shelf is just another miscellaneous toy item uh, or toy shelf uh, from all the other characters uh, so we got Buttercup, Trixie, Wheezy, um, Clown I've got Duke Kaboom down there even Giggle McDimples' toy uh, the books as well of as the uh, the folder I'm just gonna pull it out a little the folder that that lithogram came in uh, came in this and then uh, we've got Mr. Prickle Pants still in the box here as well as you kind of can see him the RC 
and there's a there's more toys in the back here including the pea pods uh, you can see uh, the chatty telephone and so yeah uh, again in the comments section below let me know if you would like to see any of these toys and more up close uh, and detailed uh, review and I'll put on my list of ones to do later on and if you see anything here that uh, you say hey I have that let me know in the comments as well and uh, click click subscribe to see more of it thank you bye bye